In the Hadron Collider, the thing is, black holes can be made two ways. Uh, dense matter, or... Did you, did you say belt buckles could be made two ways? No, black holes. Oh, okay. Can be made two ways by either having a super dense point that's really small, that exceeds the, uh, <laughs> the speed of light, therefore it's able to eat anything. So basically, once you get to a... Uh, at a certain point, you'll never be able to escape it. Ball atoms, like, like single atoms, and smashing them together at really, really high speeds in the Hadron Collider is a massive circular tube which is able to force atoms to go ridiculously fast mm -hmm. and then crash into each other, then creating a small black hole. But the black hole is so small and since it, uh, and since uh, black holes give off slight uh, radiation, which of course radiation is made of something, it's not just nothing, it does decrease the mass, and because it's made of only like two atoms, uh, if that, it'll immediately pop out of existence, or pretty much immediately. So scientists go smash these things together with a hadron collider, a massive circular ring like, 21 miles across, mm -hmm. uh, and then record uh, and test these small black holes, which may actually be able to like make uh, pretty much the closest thing we have to teleporters. Mm -hmm. This world is on a massive flat plane, and you're technically able to create, or in theory, able to create wormholes, <laughs> little holes in this massive plane. Part of the way you're able to bend and shape this terrain is with large amounts of gravity. Technically, with these black holes, you may be able to go through them and end up somewhere entirely different without really, or without traveling the distance necessary. Although, to be honest, it'll probably take us hundreds of years before we actually get a working one. So, yeah. There you have it. It's really cool to have a black hole belt buckle. Yeah. Unfortunately, the black holes do disappear. So it would be a pretty lame belt buckle. Cause you how about get, a, how about you a wormhole dressed. belt buckle? That'd be extra cool. That, and if I get in trouble, I'd just, just take my belt buckle off and dive into it. Uh, it's got, that's a pretty large belt buckle. Now we have some big ones, don't we? Uh, they're working on that, although I'm not totally sure. The belt buckles? The, the teleportation belt buckles, where you're able to teleport. You although you would have to figure out how to control it. So you wouldn't just randomly teleport yeah. ev or every few seconds. They should definitely sell those at the gift shop. Yeah. Uh, that much uh, power yeah. and stuff could kill you. And there's only one person who's been exposed to it. He's actually alive, but he got pretty close to death. Pretty much got bit from vaporized. Uh. So. But if he's the only one who's been exposed and he survived, it would, there's no documented case of death. By yeah, it. but there's only one person who's been hit by it, and it wasn't super direct. Because uh, apparently, I can't remember the exact unit right now, but it's supposed that four or five of this unit can kill you. And the Hadron Collider gets up to hundreds. <laughs> so Is the Hadron Collider real? Yes, it is real. Where are they? Uh, or who has one? There are a lot of them. Just the uh, the Hadron one is, if I'm correct, the biggest because it's 21 miles across uh, both ways. Where it's is in it? Circle. Um, I don't know exactly. I think it's over in Europe somewhere. Oh. I'm not sure. And there are a bunch of other ones also scattered around. But the Hadron Collider is the biggest one, and they're therefore able to make uh, atoms go the fastest.